Hey there YouTube, today I have an exciting video for you. Well, exciting if you like to geek out over stuff like antennas. This is part two of my antenna comparison videos. Part one is linked down below in the description. Today, we will test all the same antennas we did in part one, except today, we are testing how well they transmit. And I have to tell you, after I got back and reviewed the footage, I was absolutely blown away by how well one antenna performed. As before, we will be using my Yaesu FT4X, but this time we'll be transmitting at 5 watts with it. Full disclosure, I did use my call sign at both the beginning and end of each test. I just edited out most of that for time reasons. Now for the receiving radio, we are using my Yaesu FTM400 paired with a Comet CA2X4SR. The test covers three miles in total with a transmission test at each half mile. I did check beforehand if the frequency was clear and I picked an area that had a low chance of me interfering with anyone else. I also picked an area that was as flat as possible. I did this to really showcase how far you can actually transmit in a scenario where both parties are on the same elevation. These results would vary if there was a significant altitude difference between the two radios. Keep in mind that the radio horizon is a little over three miles, and you can really start to see that come into effect near the end of the video. Let's get started. Two and a 
I was honestly surprised at the results. I did not expect the Diamond SRH805S to perform anywhere near as well as it did. I expected it to drop off after half a mile at best. Surprisingly, it held on right up until the two and a half mile mark. We really didn't see any of them affected until we reached two miles, which was another unexpected result. Past two and a half miles is where we really see the advantages of having the longer aftermarket antennas. Once again, we see both the Signal Stuff signal stick and the Diamond SRJ77CA really outperform the others. Although the Nagoya NA773 did just barely hang in there and could be a good compromise if you needed a more compact antenna. Although it was easily beaten by both the Signal Stuff signal stick and the Diamond SRJ77CA. I was surprised that the Diamond SRJ77CA really outperformed the signal stick, starting at two miles. In the last test, we saw the signal stick hold a slight receiving advantage over the Diamond. Each of these antennas have their uses as well as advantages and disadvantages. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. If you have any feedback or suggestions for antennas you would like to see tested like this, please comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Until next time, 73.